So I'm an independent um, primary care provider. I'm a family doctor. Around the shutdown in March of 2020, we immediately made a decision as an organization to never close our doors to patients. So there was a lot of scrambling to try and figure out what it looked like to stay in practice, not really understanding what was happening. But as primary care providers, we felt like our role was to offer patients an alternative to the emergency room in the hospital. So life kind of changed overnight. We practice in a way that's very different than we practiced a year ago. Our teams, um, most of us are, are working with shortened um, workforces, doing you know more work, if not at least the same work. You know, I tell patients that monoclonal antibodies are proteins that are created in a lab and they're intended to mimic your body's immune response to infections. If, if I'm seeing someone that is either known to be COVID positive or suspected to be COVID positive, identifying a patient who might be eligible either by risk or time frame, and then it's talking to the patient about, hey, I have this option. It's a newer treatment. You know, here are some of the particulars. We are fortunate enough to have a partnership with our community hospital where you might be able to receive this. Because it's new, patients were a little bit reluctant to agree in real time. So typically the way I handled it was I would go through some of the particulars of the consent form with them, have a conversation, and I would say, you know, this really is time sensitive. Um, And then that's where the partnership where the hospital was really great. I will say once a patient came back and said, yes, I'm interested, I never had an experience where it took more than an hour for me to hear back from the pharmacy staff at the hospital saying, this person is approved um, and they will be treated either today or tomorrow. I think at worst it was two days out and often they were accommodated more quickly. You know, you need access to treatment, you need access to your primary care. And then logistically, you know, you need transportation is always a barrier. Uh, So if you have an elderly patient who doesn't drive, that's a problem. It can't catch an Uber when you have an active COVID infection. So really there are tons of barriers. We were practicing in an interesting time. Patients have such access to information. So patients and family members have this wonderful ability to advocate for themselves or their families. I think that when I talk about um, reluctance on the part of providers, It's really not because there's so much fear about the science. For my team in particular, the reluctance is actually trying to get a new workflow up and running and the time it takes to make sure that you're comfortable enough to educate yourself and educate your team and speak reasonably to a patient. We have spent a lot of time behind the scenes building up a rapport between our primary care base and our local community hospital. If that relationship had not been nurtured before this crisis, I don't believe that we would have been able to act so cohesively. So that's something I would say to any community, please, you know, talk, meet. There's value in having those relationships. I heard testimonials from patients of ours that the infusion centers were staying late sometimes to accommodate patients. So it really did feel like a team community effort, you know, all with the intention of just better serving our patients. So I think what you have to have in mind where you're trying to communicate to large groups, you know, new opportunities to hopefully help and improve patient care, you need to remind providers all the time, these are patients that you can identify who may be candidates for monoclonal antibody therapy. So it's having that thought in your mind at all times. I will say to my patients all the time, I can read anything I want in a book, but that doesn't tell me what it feels like to live inside your body. I'm not here to just shove my ideas down your throat. I'm really here so that we can sit down and talk about, might this be right for you and what might be a barrier? How can we get to the next step?